It is 26 minutes to nine on ABC local radio and regional Victoria has had a pretty miserable last couple of days when it comes to road deaths, mainly sort of uh, accidents involving just cars. But it does raise the question, education or enforcement? And one of those education versus enforcement questions involves cycling and a one metre passing rule. The TAC has launched an ad campaign telling motorists to give cyclists more room. Is it enough? Local cycling advocate Matthew Case is from the Ballarat Roadies and he's on the line. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Is an ad campaign enough? An ad, an ad campaign is certainly a good place to start. Uh, okay. But it, it's not enough. Um, it, it, uh, it, there needs to be some enforcement behind this, I think, um, because I don't think that unless, you know, look, unless there's some sort of, legal consequences when, when these types of things, especially with regards to vulnerable road users and the types of injuries that can occur, uh, people don't take it nearly as seriously or pay as much attention to it. Matthew, what, what are you actually calling for then here? Well, basically, we're just, what, what we're looking for is, is to come in line with the, uh, most of the other states in the country. Um, three states now have minimum passing distance laws that state that if you're uh, at a 60k an hour uh, that you pass a uh, no less than a meter away from the from the rider, and anything over sixty k an hour is a meter and a half. So basically, just you know, give us enough room and um, and uh, slow down and, and pass safely. You've had a look, presumably, at some of these uh, uh, these trials in other states. Yeah, and, and of course, you feel have been successful. In what way have they been successful? I think that in, I, you know, look, it, it's, it raises awareness. It, it's you know, when people know that, oh, wait, there, there's actually a minimum distance um, that uh, I should be away from, you know, these, these road users uh, to be safe. I, I'm not looking, like, like, you know, punishment is, it, it's not unlike speeding fines. I mean, you know, the best way to avoid a speeding fine is, well, don't speed. Um, so in some ways, there's better enforcement with, with speeding laws than there, there are some others, and yet people still speed. But it, it's, for me, it's really more about the awareness. And, and without some sort of legislation behind it, without the government getting behind it and saying, look, this is, this is a requirement. The problem that we have in Victoria right now is this TAC pro, uh, ad campaign, which I think is fantastic. It kind of goes back to that uh, Drop 5 campaign that they did a few years ago. The, the irony of it is, is that in Victoria, you cannot legally cross a solid line. So even, you know, in order to pass a cyclist, often you're going to have to, you know, you're going to cross, have to cross the center line. And, and my personal uh, position is when you're going to pass, you should, you should be passing like you would any other, you know, vehicle on the road. But if you can't cross a solid line, you know, where do you go? So the, the ad campaign, whilst I think it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic idea, is, is, you know, silly, really, when you think in terms of what the actual road rules are. Do we need to have this rule for some roads? What do you think? What are we supposed oh, to do? No, I, well, you know, the irony of that is, is as, many, as much time as I've spent on some of these country roads, the, the motors are actually better out there than they are when you get closer to the city. Really? Um, okay. Where you've got plenty of, where you've got, I mean, that's probably, that's a bit anecdotal. I, I, you know, I don't have anything to qualify that specifically, but, but um, I often find that, you know, a lot of those uh, country farmers and the, you know, the B-double trucks or whatever on some of those narrow roads, uh, do what's required in, in, with any other type of vehicle, whether it's a horse or uh, oncoming traffic, you slow down and you move over. You don't have to fly past us at 80K an hour and go off onto the gravel. Slow down, go past. You're going to lose a fraction of a second in time traveling, and everybody's safe. There are times when we will be further over to the right in the lane, um, not only for our own safety but for the safety of, uh, of other motorists. There's roads around... Ballarat here, well, you'll be, you know, going up, a, uh, going up a hill on a blind corner, and I'll often move over more to the middle of the road because the cars can't see what's coming, and if they go flying past me rather than just waiting a few seconds uh, to come up over that crest of that hill or to go around that corner, they may encounter oncoming traffic, and I'm actually thinking of them more so than myself. Well, should there be rules for cyclists, for example, that they have to ride single file? Oh, uh, look, uh, no, <laughs> that's probably my short answer. Um, mainly because it, there's been there's been um, you know kind of ad hoc studies done and a lot of conversation about that riding two abreast. First of all, we're legally allowed to ride two abreast. When they're riding two abreast, it shortens that distance by half. 
so the time it takes you to pass them is a lot less than it would be if they were writing single file. But it's certainly something that is, you know, we, we do think about it, and we do realize that we're on some of these roads, and we try to stay over to the left as much as we can. What do we need to do now? Who are you going to talk to? Well, we just need the Andrews government to get on board and, do, and, and fall in line with the rest of the country. Uh, the fact that they're not even trialing it and we don't, you know, the fact that we're not even going to have a trial when they when they talked about it back in March is is um, pretty disappointing. Okay. Uh, other states have done it, and it seems to be working fine. And the world hasn't ended. You know, let's let's get on board, Victoria. Matthew, thank you so much for your time this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me, John. That is local cycling advocate Matthew Case. He's from a group called the Ballarat Roadies, and yes, he is calling for legislation rather than just education.